I'm Nick Landauer in the First Amendment form, and as you can see behind me, the madness has begun. You might recognize the structure I'm standing on right now. It's where the race official with the checkered flag stands at the end of each race when cars go zooming past. Woods breezed through his first day of match play and teed off against South African Tim Clark earlier this afternoon. But if $25 is just too much, don't think you're going to be left outside just listening to the game. Thank you. Have a good day. There's a special packet of tickets where it's only going to cost you $4 to get through the turnstile. Styles. The 2006 Cy Young Award winner first felt the soreness in the fourth inning of the D-backs opening day victory over the Rockies. We went looking in the Phoenix Metro white pages in search of some familiar names. We're live in the First Amendment forum with the ASU students who've come to watch some March Madness. Right now the seats are completely empty, but rest assured during spring training games they are jam-packed. There's been a lot of tears shed around here, I tell you that. Yeah, it's, it's you know something I guess we all got to live with, but you know we don't have to like it. Racers travel from far away to kick up its legendary dirt and drift around the sharp turns. Now, after nearly 60 years in the valley, the world-famous Manzanita Speedway in South Phoenix is on its final lap. The owner of Manzanita recently sold the historic track, which will be bulldozed after its final race on April 11th. Manzanita manager Hollywood Leary says this is just another sign of a struggling economy. Racers are racers and, and they, they're, go, they're going to get here. It doesn't matter what the economy is, it really doesn't. The track's been here for 58 years. There's an awful lot of history and, and, and a lot of people are really strongly affected by it. Big name drivers such as AJ Foyt, Formula One racer Mario Andretti and even Tony Stewart once left their tracks at this speedway. You might recognize the structure I'm standing on right now. It's where the race official with the checkered flag stands at the end of each race when cars go zooming past. It's a symbol that's unique to the sport of racing and something every Manzanita Speedway fan will miss. Conrad Santa Cruz has been a race official at Manzanita for two decades and is feeling the loss as much as anyone. Oh, I've been coming here about 40 years. 40 years? Bro. Yeah, yeah, since I was a little kid, Grandpa used to bring me. You know, there's a lot of people that really get involved in this, you know. So, it's sad to see it go. Although Leary is looking to relocate, he personally knows how tough it'll be to stay in the race. I mean, Manzanita was destined to, to die. You know, I just know nobody expected it to die next month. Leary plans on selling tickets cheap for the last few events before Manzanita comes to its eternal pit stop. In Phoenix, Nick Landauer, Cronkite News Service. In a region that serves some of the nation's best young baseball talent, time stands still for one unique league. Arizona's Vintage Baseball League is only in its second season, but caters to some old-time talent and past traditions. We play by the 1864 rules. Hundreds of fans, or cranks as they called them in the 19th century, packed into Liberty Field in Sun City West. They may be a little seasoned, but players like Jim Gentner say they've got what it takes to compete. We have some players here at Sun City that play, and they're from 55 to probably 70. And uh, some people will laugh and say, well, Sun City, they can't be very good. Well, they're awful good because a lot of these guys, some of these guys played professionally years ago. Even fans maintain the authenticity by showing up dressed the part. The league started with only two teams but has grown to six in a short time. Team founder Herb Clark says sportsmanship always comes before any rivalries. We, we don't want to beat them bad but we don't want to lose either so and I think they feel the same way that uh, it's good uh, sportsmanship between the teams and we root for them they root for us. The league also puts on a Wild West gun show during gameplay for even more entertainment. Rowdy fans are quickly silenced by Sheriff Wyatt Earp and his six-shooter. Even the team doctor showed no mercy to injured players. Hey, he's too big to carry off the field. League owners say they hope to eventually get their matches televised and even recruit former baseball celebrities to join the ranks. In Sun City West, Nick Landauer, Cronkite Newswatch.